Welcome, Monkey Mischief um, Classroom. Today's helpful tip is um, when you have a student that's working on a device or using picture cards or a picture communication book of any kind um, to work on vocabulary and communication, it's really important that you ask the student to look with their eyes first before they tap on anything. And it's always one tap. Um, do not allow them to keep tapping around um, because that's basically showing that they don't understand what you're asking. Um, they should be able to directly go. And if they make the mistake, then you know, okay, that they didn't understand it versus they're just randomly doing stuff. Um, you always want them to go eyes first and then to scan. And what I often do, if it, it, it is a device, um, let's say this is my iPad, <laughs> a very tiny iPad, but um, what I have them do is I run my finger at the top and I have them follow with their eyes. So it's eyes, 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 good job. Did you see the answer in that row? No? Okay, keep going. Eyes, 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 eyes. Did you see the answer in that row? Okay, keep going. That's a great way to um, help the student learn to be attentive, but it's also a great way for them to really look at all the options. That helps them build um, a better understanding of the actual layout of the device. Um, and also with like a picture communication book, it's a great way to always have the um, pieces in the same place so that the student learns where to locate what they need for communication. Hope that helps.